2010 was a rough year for Tiger Woods. The best player in golf, mired in a scandal of marital infidelities, got divorced, lost his number one world ranking, and didn't win a single PGA tournament. Drew Brees led the Saints to a 31-17 victory over the Colts in the Super Bowl. Brees completed 32 of 39 passes, two of them for touchdowns, and was named the game's MVP, as New Orleans won its first NFL title. Brett Favre came back for a second season with the Vikings, but it didn't go nearly as well as the first. The three-time league MVP reportedly admitted leaving voicemails for former New York Jets game hostess Jen Sturger, but Favre denied sending her lewd photos. His NFL record streak of 297 consecutive starts ended thanks to a shoulder injury. And the Vikings, thought to be Super Bowl contenders in August, fell out of contention early in the NFC North. Michael Vick became a starter once again and enjoyed success with Philadelphia. In his first 11 games with the Eagles, Vick had thrown for 20 touchdowns and run for eight more. In college football, Alabama won its first national title since 1992 with a 37-21 triumph over Texas in the BCS championship game. Bama's arch rival Auburn went undefeated to land a berth in the 2011 BCS title game against Oregon. Tigers QB Cam Newton accounted for 49 touchdowns and won the Heisman Trophy. But there were questions surrounding Newton as allegations surfaced that his father violated NCAA rules. The Lakers made it two in a row. Kobe Bryant and company rallied past Boston in Game 7 to win their second straight NBA championship. It was the Lakers' 16th title. Big-name NBA free agents were on the move in the summer. The biggest, LeBron James, upset fans in Cleveland by leaving the city where he played for seven seasons for Miami. The Heat also signed Chris Bosh, who joined Miami's all-star guard Dwayne Wade to form a formidable Big Three. In a thrilling NCAA final, Duke held off Cinderella Butler to win its fourth national championship. Women's college hoops saw the UConn Huskies go undefeated for a second straight season. UConn beat Stanford for its seventh NCAA title. The Giants delivered San Francisco its first World Series championship as they beat Texas in five games. In the year of the pitcher, there were six no-hitters, including Roy Halladay's gem in the playoffs for the Phillies. Nationals rookie phenom Steven Strasburg lived up to the hype, whiffing 14 batters in his big league debut against Pittsburgh. But in September, Strasburg had Tommy John surgery and likely won't pitch again until 2012. Roger Clemens was indicted for allegedly lying to Congress when he denied using steroids in HGH. His trial has been delayed until July. There was tragedy at the Vancouver Olympics before the Games began. On the day of the opening ceremony, a 21-year-old Georgian loser was killed during a training run. There was success on the slopes in Whistler for Lindsey Vaughn, who became the first American woman to win a gold medal in the Olympic downhill. Host nation Canada won Olympic gold in hockey, an exciting overtime win against the United States. Sidney Crosby scored the game winner as Canada won its eighth Olympic gold medal in hockey. Another year, another title for Jimmy Johnson. The veteran NASCAR driver made it five straight Sprint Cup titles, winning the championship in the season's final race. The Chicago Blackhawks won their first Stanley Cup since 1961, beating the Flyers in six games. Spain won its first ever World Cup, beating the Netherlands in extra time in soccer's marquee event staged in South Africa. The U.S. team made it to the round of 16, but fell to Ghana. John Klobuchar, The Associated Press.